Okay, so up next we have custom exceptions and custom exceptions are actually very, very simple. So let's go ahead and create a custom exception. I'm just gonna say new Java class and let's call it underage exception. And all you need to do is say extends exception. And technically that's all you have to do, but it can be nice to add a couple of custom features. So the exception class has um, a couple of constructors. So it can take, it has an empty constructor, it has a constructor that takes a string message, has a constructor that takes a string message and a throwable cause. It's got a bunch of different constructors. And then we can, and in the super class, which is throwable, there's also a, tr a two string method in here, which oftentimes you'll see people overriding because they wanna add a custom message should this happen. So I'm gonna say two string and that's it. So this is basically when I say, uh, you know, exception.get message, this is what's gonna print instead of kind of some generic message. And this is overriding the two string method up in the throwable class. And now if I wanna use this, so let's say new Java class, how about uh, liquor store? And I'll put a main method in here. And we could even have a little fun with it and put in a scanner. Okay, so I've just made this very simple method called buy wine, and I've created a scanner. I just print out, welcome to Coding Nomad's liquor store. Are you over 21 years of age? Yes, no. And then if the user responds no, then we're gonna throw a new underage exception. And you can see that we have this error right here. And wh what we need to do is add this throws clause to the method signature, because now this method buy wine has the potential to throw this exception. So we need to let any calling method no, just writing the method signature that there that this method can throw an exception. So if you just put your cursor here and or click on it, you'll get this little light bulb, which will give you the two options. You can either add an exception to the method signature or surround with a try catch. And what we want to do is add this to the method signature. So now we can see that that error has gone away. And then up here, I can just say, for instance, buy wine. Here, we have another error. And this is why we need to add throws, um, this throws, exception, or in this case, underage exception, to the method signature. Because when I call this method, if this method has the potential to throw an exception, I'll get a syntax error or a compilation error saying that we have an unhandled exception. So here is where I'm gonna put it in the try catch. And I'll say, for instance, sout e dot get measured, or how about we use our two string. So now when we run this, and if I say no, we can see that our exception was thrown. Underage exception must be 21 to buy alcohol. So if we run that again, and we say yes, great, what can we get for you? And that's all, I didn't do anything beyond there, right? So this is an example of just a very simple method that can throw an exception and how we add it to the method signature and how any method that has a throws clause in the method signature, when you're calling it, you, you either need to rethrow the exception or you need to wrap it in a try catch. So for instance, just to demonstrate re-throwing the exception again, I'll just say public static void some method. And if I put this by wine, I'll just take all this out for a second. If I put this in here, I have the option. It's, so I'm, I'm just, I took it out of the main method. I just put it here in some method and I call this by wine method. Again, this by wine method throws an underage exception which is a custom exception that we just created right here, a very simple class that just extends exception. And here I have two options. I can either wrap this in a try catch like this, which would handle that, or I can add this to the method signature, which will basically say, I'm not the one responsible for, for the handling this exception. I wanna throw it to whoever calls me, which in this case would be the main method. So here, if I call some method, again, I've got this unhandled exception, so I need to either add it to the method signature, which this would basically just throw it back to the JVM since it's the main method, which is the equivalent of basically crashing your program. 
So what I want to do is I want to wrap it in a try catch here. And I'll say sout e dot two string. So again, another example of try catch, throw, and throws, right? So this the throw keyword is when you want to actively throw an exception. And because an exception is an object, you know, for instance, I could say right here, you know, underage exception exe equals new underage exception. And then here I could say throw exe, right? This is the functionally equivalent. But since we don't really need this exe object for anything else, what we can just do is we can just say, we can do it all in one line by saying throw new underage exception. And it will just immediately create that object and throw it to the calling method. We tell the calling method that this method throws an exception in the method signature using the throws keyword. In a method, such as this one right here, we're in some method, we're basically saying like, yeah, I know that this by wine method can throw an exception, but I'm not the one that is going to deal with it. So I'm going to add throws underage exception up to the calling method that's, that's calling me, which in this case is the main method. And here is just an example of like, this is the place where we're actually going to manage that exception. So again, if we run it and I say, no, nope, not under, not over 21 years then it throws an underage exception, must be 21 to buy alcohol in the US. So that's a quick introduction to custom exceptions. There's a couple of other methods that you can add in here. You can add whatever kind of functionality you want. That being said, most of the time, these custom exceptions are very, very simple. It's just because, you know, let's say that, let's say our application needs to be able to throw some kind of exception that says that this purchaser is under 21, for instance, there is no built-in exception in Java for under 21 exception or underage exception. There is no, um, you know, you, the, all, the, very often times you need these custom exceptions because you want to be able to throw an exception up to a calling method or to generate some kind of exception so that the program is aware that something went wrong. But the exception is something that only exists, for instance, in your company. It's not an exception as far as Java is concerned. You know, if you could, you could throw an exception if your check, if the color equal red, you could throw a, false color exception or whatever it might be, right? There's often times where you need to kind of create your own exceptions that you can throw in specific circumstances. And when you have a class that extends exception, you now have the ability to both try, catch, and throw that exception, whatever it might be. So custom exceptions, super simple, super useful. Getting a, an idea of how, you know, starting to get comfortable with how we add the throws to the method signature for any method that has the potential to generate and or throw an exception. And then having a try catch anytime we call a method that throws an exception. Or, you know, in this case, in the sum method, we, we skipped the try catch because we said instead we're just going to immediately throw any exception that happens here or in bywine immediately up to our calling method. So with exception handling, there's kind of a bit in here, but really it just comes down to try catch, throws throw and custom exceptions. And as soon as you can wrap your head around those five concepts, then you've got a generally, you've got a good understanding about core exception handling in Java.